check out what Jamie and Granddad brought home the other day. We are so excited to get these beds filled and amended. This is composted topsoil that we get from a local friend. He used to do this as a living. He used to make composted topsoil as a living and now he just does it as a hobby in retirement. So we get to benefit from it. So we are super excited to get all of this put in to the raised beds this weekend. When we started to empty the trailer of all of the composted topsoil, it started to rain. So we had to stop, but I wanna show you what we have gotten done so far. And then Jamie will take you along as he gets the rest unloaded. We do have a lot of water on the top of this tarp. So that's gonna be interesting to see how we get it out. That day we received 1.5 inches of rain. So there is a lot of water on that cover, but we were able to get this bed completely filled we got that bed filled, this one is filled, this one is filled, and that one over there is filled. So we have three beds left in this garden, and then whatever's left is gonna be used on the, the garden. tomato garden. But here's the Jamie, garden. tomato garden. He is already working. I'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse, and you can watch him dig all of the dirt out. <laughs> Thanks.
guys, it is day two of emptying the trailer. But while Jamie empties the trailer, I'm gonna get a couple more things done and I will take you along. knockout rose bush that I took from it was actually like a seedling from another knockout rose bush we have around our pool area and it was tiny I guess it's about three or four years ago that I did this it was tiny I pulled it up and I potted it in this pot as you can see it is done awesome but now it is outgrown this pot so we're gonna pot it up into this nice big one I have some leftover potting soil here from just other projects so I'm gonna get this all mixed up and we will repot this knockout rose. So this was put in this pot when I didn't know much about gardening and I was always told to put rocks in the bottom so that it would drain better when in all reality you don't need to do that so this is a testament that uh, anything can grow and you are always learning this needs and see so you can see like this was so full of rocks that this didn't have much soil in it so it's actually quite surprising that this is doing as well as it did so it should only do better now that it's gonna get more soil and better nutrients. Are you coming to help? All done, now just find a sunny spot to put it in. We are running out of those though, so this might be difficult. All right, so the trailer is empty and yeah, and we actually don't need another load, but I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got filled. This was six yards of composted topsoil. So I'm gonna show you everything we got filled with this six yards. With the six yards of composted topsoil that we got, we were able to top off all eight of these beds here. We made these beds last year and we did the whole um, cardboard, wood chips, leaves, composted topsoil. It did settle over the year, which we expected it would. So we just topped them all off with composted topsoil. And then we were able to fill, well not fill, <laughs> we were able to top these beds off as well. So these beds were cardboard, wood chips, and leaves, and then composted topsoil. I have a video of how we filled these with tops, uh, with cardboard and wood chips and all of that, and I will link it below for you. So that Six Yards did all of this, topped off all of this, and it also topped off our tomato garden, which we'll walk over and show you now. Oh, I forgot to mention, it also topped off this bed here and this one here. These will be our dahlia beds this year, so both of those got topped off as well. The one over there also needs to be topped off, but I planted the poppies in that before we got the composted topsoil, so we ran out of time. Here is our tomato garden. We only plant tomatoes in this. It is really long <laughs> and we trellis the tomatoes on the cattle panels there. And the way we filled this one is we mounded here. We left a walkway in the middle and then we did another mound here. And what we're gonna have to do is because the mounds made it taller, I'm gonna have to recut the landscaping mesh for this, which is really no big deal, but just one more step. But we mounded them and left the middle because we do have to walk the middle, so we didn't wanna waste the composted topsoil for that. And then my experiment is going to see if I can get some basil to grow back here. We did 
put the rest of the composted topsoil in this back area. And I'm just gonna see if we can get some basil to grow. My problem is, is we have the Japanese maple there and then we have a big maple tree here. So this area gets a lot of shade in the summer. So I'm not positive it will grow. But like I said, it's my experiment garden. Okay guys, so that is how we use the six yards of composted topsoil. We are super excited to start planting in these beds. Make sure that you hit subscribe and that notification bell so you can see everything that we are planting. We will do a garden tour here soon and hopefully we'll be able to fly the drone and get some aerial shots for you as well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me at the farmhouse today and we'll talk to you soon.